internet cable down. See, before I built all of this, I built that. And that right there is basically like my network hub. Um, I actually did a video on it. If you guys want to check that video out, make sure you do. I did the whole thing. You got an Alexa, you got a network switch. Yeah, she works. See, Alexa. Uh -huh. um, wireless USB charger so I can just lay the phone up against it and it charges it. Um, then you have a, a Wi Fi uh, repeater and it runs off the security cameras and stuff too. But I have internet cables like this one right here that's like 30 feet long. That way, if I wanted to, I could run it the length of the garage even if I wanted to put the computer over there or something so that way if I'm in here working or live streaming or something I'll be able to do it so it's looking good my shops finally starting to get organized and to a point um, I'm starting to realize that I honest to God have a lot of computer stuff a lot of water cooling just a lot of accessories um, I was finding things that I I haven't seen in years um, like these these are heat sinks for a RAM which heh, I've never used them but I found them in the box same with this thing up here this is a, a hard drive fan it goes inside of your computer and it's supposed to suck air in and blow air down on your hard drive as it's sitting inside the bay it just goes into the bay above it um, I've never used that so you know, and then I'll, I got like a whole damn thing full of fittings. This whole thing right here, it's just, it's full of fittings. Like, that's all that's in here is just fittings. Tons and tons of fittings. I would say I probably have over a thousand dollars, if not more, in fittings just in this damn bucket alone. Um, but I've, I, I reuse my fittings and stuff a lot. So let's see here. Everything looks good. Let's check out the YouTube channel. See if see how we're doing on that. And I decided to go with a wait a minute. Well, what what the hell's my channel? I couldn't even think of it. A Tech PCs. There we go. Let's see here what pops up. Search it. Ooh, look at that. 1.22. Your boy's on his way. That's the most recent video that I did right there. The LED Lux light. Let's see here. No views. What? It's been up for seven hours and there's no views. I don't believe that, YouTube. You've been dicking me over lately on my views and everything. Notifications. Y'all like that though, right? Oh, shit. A commercial. Look. It says I got eight views on it. You know, that's funny because I, I went into my... Um, ever since... I became the ad partner program um, messages subscribers all that kind of stuff normally would pop up in like your um, let's see here like normally well I guess if I went to the channel uh, here let me show you real quick so if you go to the channel all right if you're signed in you have that little bell icon at the top so that way when you uh, when you you know subscribe to a channel you get the notification well I also have that so that way when you subscribe to me or you leave me a comment it usually pops up and it'll say you know uh, so and so message you or so and so replied or this person subscribed to your channel well none of that shit was happening none of it was popping up on anywhere um, and then I found out that it was all going into my YouTube studio hub and that's where I could see all the subscribers and everything else and stuff um, basically what I did is I went to a huge ass concert slash party and every damn person I ran into I told about I probably got 60 subscribers just out of this deal um, these are just spare parts and stuff um, Wow more fittings Damn, I forgot about these. Look, see? More fittings. More fittings. Uh, and then this is just like a smorgasbord of different types of connectors, collars, all kinds of different stuff. Uh, 
We got reservoirs. All of this is reservoirs. That box, that box. You can see that's why they're all stacked up. Reservoirs, reservoirs. These are all reservoirs too. Um, these are, what do you call them? 120 millimeter reservoirs like this one. So um, I have, oh my God, I have so many fans. It's not even funny. Look, I got fans in here. And then there's, there's fans in there. And then there's fans in this one too. Uh, but the good ones I usually keep here or... Um, I'll put them over here if you're a rarity and stuff. Up there is like all of my stock CPU coolers and um, old school ones, kind of like this one right here. This is a real old school CPU cooler and I keep it because, oh, excuse me, I keep it for nostalgic reasons because it's cool to have stuff like that. Um, that right there was one of the fastest, most powerful motherboards I've ever owned in my life. And then I got thermal paste inside the socket and destroyed it. And now it's a paperweight. Uh, those are fans. All that is fans, fans, fans. That's another radiator sitting up there. And then up there are all my 360 millimeter radiators that I use. Uh, different types of tubings and colors like that. Check that out. That's pretty cool, right? That's a 950. Uh, a 950. 9500 GT uh, that's like one of the originals man can't go wrong with that up there is hard tubing um, I got one two let's see here I got one two three three things of hard tubing um, they're all blue two of them are all three of them are different sizes as well uh, those are just boxes that I put actually no that actually has stuff in it that right there that this or that docking port that's here this works great um, that came out of a friend of mine's computer that died and I rebuilt her computer and I just kept that for parts and stuff um, cases I, they're so big and bulky I don't know what to do with a lot of them I stack a lot of the boxes over there that's the camera cabinet maybe I'll do a video about that one day um, underneath here uh, there's another computer here that was going to be like a bench computer something that I could work on until I built that one. Now I have a computer to just kind of do things out here with. Um, over here, this is very important uh, because that one switch controls everything. So I have a blow dryer here that I can pull and use to heat shrink wrap or do whatever I need with it. I have a straightening iron, a small one. That's for shrink wrap and other kinds of different things. Um, down here I keep different types of cords like this. This is a Molex cord, or a Molex, yeah, Molex, Molex, that way I can test Molex, and then 12-volt telescope cord, these things right here, dude, everything goes to that. I have so many different types of electronics that fit this, so I keep one right here, cell phone charger, and then a couple of little things and tools and stuff. Over here is pretty cool. I have a power supply that's rigged into a multi-splitter up here so I can run fans or test different types of SATA like uh, this right here well I guess I don't have it oh they're right there they're in the back see I have a Molex to SATA adapters so that way I can just plug them in and run SATA and stuff and of course we have you know SATA plugs and uh, these are green lights I got the flashlight markers um, all kinds of little things this is where I keep some of the basic tools at I always reach for over here is hardware this is all hardware any type of screw or fitting that you can think of like um, case fan screws motherboard screws weird proprietary screws machine screws whatever you name it um, it's in that box I keep a lot of the water cooling stuff in here like the different saws, that's a deep pen tool, uh, you know, scissors, small tape measurer, um, power board jumper, which you definitely need a motherboard or a power board jumper. That's a die. This is an AB complex. This right here removes thermal paste off of your CPUs. Um, this is the actual AB compound that I spoke before. That looks like a valve. You got crazy glue. Uh, whoops, dropped it. These are ring. Uh, 140 millimeter ring blue fans that I keep. Whoop, drop that too. 
that's another adapter but that looks like uh, to grab man why don't I just drop everything uh, that's an adapter to a graphics card so if your graphics card if your power supply doesn't have enough juice or enough pins to run your graphics card well this adapter would work great so I just keep that there for whatever reasons um, these are all feet for radiators um, these clip onto the side of the radiator and they allow you to sit the radiator upright or stand it up and I got several pairs of those um, I actually got more than what I actually needed little tool pipe cutter um, these are water cooling things uh, well, actually I guess I just got a bunch of stickers thrown in that one but no they're like water cooling stuff see it's it's full of different types of uh, things what is that that is oh that's a pump that that is one of my original water cooling pumps one of my original pumps but you see what I mean by why like I was saying how like there's there's water cooling stuff in here and here there's just um, SATA uh, I think it's all SATA really SATA yeah it's all SATA different types of little screws different types of little accessories and things that you may need for all kinds of little stuff I have so many mod mats it's ridiculous I need to get rid of them um, let's see what else is up here fans fans water blocks uh, water block um, these are lights another screw kit um, what is that those are alpha cool um, I think that's their alpha cool primo chill cooling set um, I bought two of those those are really cool they're braided cords and stuff um, over here you have little clamps that I use all the time to hold things together and that magnetic stick gotta have one of those you uh, where did I have that stuff to right there I love that thing that thing works great um, moving this way you got the drill bench and then all the tools and accessories to them air compressor and then uh, Dremel heat gun staple gun and then you have all the ratchet tools and everything over here you have my vices um, and then you have my two separate grinders anything you need really I keep uh, rice for electronics holes uh, tap and die set um, hole cutter brand new socket set nail gun um, you know I just I try to keep it all organized and stuff and then if you come down here this is in case you get something in your face I have a wash station here that's ready to go and the bottle is actually tapered for your eye so you just stick that right over your eye and you squeeze that bottle as hard as you can and it'll rinse your eye out that's in case I get any chemicals or anything in my face while I'm out here working um, I'll have something immediately to grab to and then you have the um, fire extinguisher with the hammer here so that way you can break it and put my place out on fire always wear your helmet I got gloves here um, that's just for show and look moving on down here ooh Batman a tech PC subscribe um, this is the soldering station this is where I do all of my little electrical stuff that I want to do um, you know you have your different types of shrink wrap um, plastic covers uh, voltmeters, wire snippers, soldering iron, which I want to buy a soldering station which has like a reflow kit on it and everything which is really cool um, helping hands, can't have too many of those wire assessments, uh, I bought this brand new and I still haven't used it mainly because I've been using up this type of wire um, same thing with these, these are different types of like connectors and things like that all your different solders and fluxes um, all your fine little tools, tweezers, Zacto knives, um, proprietary little things. I keep screwdrivers over here, uh, so on. Like these are all brushes. Any type of brush you can think of is over here. Uh, you got my toolbox full of tools. This right there, that's a, a adjustable circuit board holder that I use all the time. Um, this is my power station. I built this. I also did a video on that this works great um, and then I just kind of keep hardware and other things uh, down there my spray cans so I keep all my spray cans nice and organized here like that's just the way I like it underneath here um, I, everything is on 
all the lights, the fans, the lights, uh, those lights, even the lights for there and all of this underneath, it's all on remote. I just click the button and it turns everything on. All my power tools are down there, different types of saws and stuff, different chemicals, paints, um, old computers from back in the day, you know, just soldering iron, jigsaw. This is my newest event. This is a foam cutter, it's not like a styrofoam cutter. Harbor Freight had it on sale for eight bucks. So I was like, oh yeah, I definitely want one of those. Um, let's see here, moving on. There's just like aluminum foil, different types of sheets, uh, suction cups, you know, different types of suction cups so you can move glass or plexiglass, um, different kinds of things, blow torches, batteries, hardware, um, face shield, that's all wiring, that's all like brackets and stuff. Um, in there is like hardware stuff for your monitors and things like that. And then of course this big thing here that I built to hold my table saw. As you can tell, I build everything. Shut up. I build everything myself. All of this is built by me and and no one else helped me with it to tell you the truth I don't think anybody helped me with any of this stuff I built all of this myself I mean I'm not trying to brag or nothing but you know that's why I have a YouTube channel man because I'm constantly building and working and doing stuff see I have all these tools and stuff and I and I find myself going well what do I do what do I do with all this I need to build something I have so many different types of materials like down here, I have aluminum, steel, you got springs, metal, glass, plexiglass, shelving. Um, over here, I got different types of aluminum and piping. That way you can build different things. Uh, stainless steel. Um, there's plastic tubings. You have piping. You have um, plexiglass. Like this is cool. This is like a, a dome to a light that I've never done nothing with. So I just held on to it this kind of stuff um, and then there's different types of hardware in there and then of course you have plumbing all the plumbing stuff is underneath here and uh, this is just uh, my cutting board and my cutter and everything um, and that kind of stuff but yeah over there is kind of a mess that's just where I keep all the backflow um, all the LEDs electricals different types of things the monitors the lamps that kind of stuff um, and then of course in here that's where I keep my camera stuff so if you guys like my little tour please leave a like on this video um, I worked hard on setting up this shop and building it the way that I wanted it so that way when it comes time for me when it comes time for me to build something I can do it and I have the tools that I need to at the accessories that I can and I enjoy it so make sure to subscribe leave a like on this video Thank you so much for watching. This was just a quick tour of my shop. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.